Hello everyone, welcome back to the Pandora channel. Today we're going to be looking at the 3D Pandora Saga Wi-Fi TV game box, which has 3,000 games in one. Just going to open up the package here. We've got a nice little user guide. And um, there's pictures for the Pandora 3D Saga. This is looking a bit potato-like that came with it. The PlayStation 2 copies. And here's the box. Okay, at the top it looks like we've got a way for heat to get out of the box. Might be a fan at the top. Two USB ports on the side. It's a micro SD card slot there. There's a settings button. And there's the on and off switch, power, HDMI, audio, the spdiff, and there's also a nice little LAN connector here. Could be handy. Feels quite nice, this little box. Looks like a nice tidy package. Let's crack her open. So I've got inside here is a very small, like, box with a weird CPU heatsink thing. There's not a fan in there at all. And here's the bottom. And I'm a bit concerned how the heatsink and everything isn't on really that straight. Eh, we'll see. So I turn it on, we get a nice intro screen. Hadouken! Tiger! Tiger! So far, it looks very similar to the Pandora Games 3D. The options are very similar. I.O. test, redefine keys, change your mapping. Remember this option here, auto exit. We should disable that. If we don't, if you leave it idle for three minutes, and then it's gonna exit back to the main menu. Image optimization HD is pretty much like a filter, smooths out the things, and then you've got scan line. I usually keep this disabled. Got a few languages. the game market as well. We'll look at that later. Yeah, this model I have is Wi-Fi too. I don't think we'll need it, considering we use cable in my house. Just gonna try Tekken 6 now. I'll change the control settings. Okay, comparing everything to the Pandora Games 3D, I think uh, this seems a bit sluggish. But it could be due to the control pads that I'm using. Same control issues to the Pandora Games 3D. The buttons are not completely correct with the PPSSPP emulator. Here's a bit of Dreamcast. PlayStation 1. It 
runs pretty well. Here's the N64, GoldenEye. Analog controls do not work at all. The only way we can get our character to move is by using the D-pad with the analog thingy selected. It's very awkward using the control, I need to use the D-pad on the left and L to shoot. Oh god. Mario 64. Let's check out the analog stick again. Same again, we need to use the D-pad. This time the buttons are a bit better configured. Smash Brothers. We got player one, player two working. No problem. It's playable. Here's a bit of FBA, Neo Geo, with Metal Slug X. Genesis emulator, Streets of Rage. Both pads configured very well. It's 1945K123. Bonanza Brothers on main. Shadow Dancer. FBA. Okay, now let's check out some games that had issues on the Pandora Games 3D. The first one being Bomberman World. We cannot actually add coins for the other players. Nothing. Come on, guys. Quality control. And on the Pandora Games 3D, we could not go into high gear. See if they fix that. Have they bugger? Mortal Kombat. This is usually okay on the PG 3D. Let's see how it runs here. Alright guys, we're gonna just try some controllers here. The first one's my lovely little arcade stick, which has a USB encoder inside. We're gonna give it a try with uh, Tekken. Works pretty well.
The problem with this box is not a lot of other things work with it. I've tried the PlayStation 3 controller. We can only move it up, down, left, right. That's it. The Xbox One pad, this wired, does work. A Logitech's nothing. An issue that I found was with two-player mode. Okay, so this is the second player pad. Why can I control both players? Mm. Quality control! Alright, let's see if we can update this thing. Seems like quite an old firmware. You're in what? Latest firmware? No way. Alright, let's check out the shop. This is the shop with the LAN cable plugged in. I'm just gonna download one game at random, it's quite small, that I've never played before. How about a bit of Sonic? Can't go wrong with Sonic. Quality control! I don't get it. Why do they even have this on the market? Okay, so here are the games we downloaded. One and two. My Uncle Jackson's Moonwalk with no video. Why is that? Hmm. Who's bad? Okay, let's run quickly through the emulators, see which one can save states. This is the PlayStation 1. Gives an option, but we cannot load or save states. N64, we don't even get the option to... FBA! We can. MAME? Not even an option. It should be, though. NINTENDO! We can. Super Nintendo? Yep. We can save state. Game Boy Advance! Yep, Baroons. Game Boy! And again, we're good. PC Engine, we can save state here too. Alright, let's try adding a few games to a USB stick. I'm gonna throw them into Games Download folder. We can actually play games from the PSP, N64, PlayStation, and Dreamcast, I believe. Do this method. Here's Pac Man. CE! All right, let's give Pandora a try. I'm gonna add some rums. Just gonna add one main game, the Outrun, with hopefully the config for High Gear and a few Mega Drive games. It looks like we're good. Okay, here are games with video and sound. Let's try Outrun. And we're good, we can change gears. Sweet.
There's a bit of Sonic too. It's running really well. And a fan favourite, Speeble 2. Let's compare Tekken 6. With HDMI, we get a bit of ghosting. You see around the joystick there, it's a bit of green. You can compare it to the VGA output on the PG3D. No green. Nice. Scan lines. And let's check out the HD filter. From start, we cannot change the aspect ratio. Maybe in the future. Keep your eyes peeled, guys. Pros, silent. Wi-Fi, and also has a LAN cable port. Audio out, and spit a bit of it. NAND, games are on the micro SD, and you can add them from the shop or with Pandori. Cons, 3,000 games, but it's on a 32 gigabyte card. Remember the PG3D is on a 64. There's no VGA port. Controllers, none of them work. And there's no 40 pin harness port, so you can't plug in your arcade stuffs into it. Also, currently no jailbreak, so no aspect ratio fix. Hmm, who is this unit for? I think it's to go pretty much head to head against the DX. Probably 80 bucks with postage. I'd say just skip this and go for the Pandora Games 3D with two, four, four, eight games. And you can use all of your lovely controllers. Yay. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Like and subscribe if you can. Thank you. Catch you later. Bye!